Creative Katie here. Welcome to my channel and to my version of the Index Card of Day 2019 Create Daily series. This is a week three prompt chandelier. It's a fun iCAD and it uses collage. So when I first saw the prompt chandelier, I thought, okay, that doesn't really excite me. But I had recently been gifted a whole bunch of magazines and I was flipping through them and I found this big, bold, shiny chandelier. And I thought, okay, I'm going to absolutely use this. I mean, here I have a prompt chandelier and we have this big one. And I wasn't sure if I was just going to be using this as a design element underneath or whether I was actually going to keep it as being a chandelier. But I knew that I needed to do some fussy cutting and my way of doing the fussy cutting is to just use an X-Acto knife. I'm, I think I a little overkill on the uh, cutting when I, as in my career as a teacher. So I am just cutting it out. Now, if you cut the middle parts like I'm doing right now, before you cut the outer part, it's easier because you have the support of what's on the outside. And you just kind of have to hold it down and, you know, figure out what works best for you. And I don't fret if I cut off a little bit or whatever, because really there are bigger things in life to worry about. So I'm just cutting it out and don't worry, I'm not going to show you all of this. It takes some time and I'm cutting right on my glass media mat, the Tim Holtz media mat. It's tempered glass and it's perfect. So there we have it. So I'm kind of playing around with it, swinging from the chandeliers, which I just discovered was a song. And then I thought, you know what? I'm going to grab one of the Tim Holtz crazy cats and I'm going to have the cat swinging from the chandelier. Now, because the chandelier is so decorative and so ornate, and I really wanted that to be the focal image, I didn't want a whole lot of pattern in the background. So I just went with a dark color, some color that was going to really make the gold and crystals pop. And so I'm using dioxazine purple and phthalo green and I'm applying it with a makeup sponge and I'm not really trying to make this blend and get that navy. I'm okay if I see the phthalo green. I'm okay if I just see the diox purple. So you get some, build some interest in it right off the bat. My focal image is also quite big so I'm not going to see a whole lot on the background so putting modeling paste or any of that really doesn't make sense in this format. The other colors I was going with magenta or and burgundy that also made the gold really pop. So I'm giving this a quick dry before I move on. So there's the chandelier. Now, if the cat is swinging from the chandelier, it would be kind of askew. So I don't want it hanging straight down. And then I found this quote, sometimes all you can do is hang on. And I thought, okay, that's just perfect. How do I manage to have all these things here on my desk? And then they just, it's like they were meant to go together but that really wasn't a planned out thing. It's just a nice, happy circumstance. So I decide I need to put something on the background. I thought about stamping um, music notes or stamping script, but instead I just thinned out the gold paint and splattered. I'm keeping it simple. I'm keeping the colors the same. Now, the crazy birds, I have no problem cut, making them red and orange and whatever color under the sun, but somehow the cats, I just can't make them any color. So I am going to make this kind of neutral and what I'm a real cut, real cat color. And I'm just using my ink tense block and then I'm activating it with thinned gel medium. 
And what that will do, it will activate it, but it will also lock it in and make sure that it is permanent. Once it dry, you can go back and add another layer of it. Any water soluble medium watercolor crayons, uh, Neocolor 2s, like the anything you can color it. Now, when I put it on the background, I'll come back to that if I remember, it just wasn't popping enough. So I'm getting kind of a burnt orangey look onto this cat, I'm just darkening the color a little bit. And again, the only way you know is by looking and putting it on and auditioning it. The color that I had was too close to the gold of the chandelier. So now you can see it kind of, it really pops. So I'm just using the pit brush markers. Now because this has been sealed with gel medium, and now it's a non-porous surface, I can put this off and blend it a little bit. So that's what I'm using the dark brown for. And then I think I grabbed the black as well. Not sure if that was on camera. So I want the cat to be look like it is really, like it flew across the, the, the room and grabbed hold of the chandelier. So you kind of want, I want it intertwined with the chandelier. There I'm adding some more black because I decided that it wasn't quite dark enough. There wasn't enough shading. And I'm just dabbing it on and smearing it with my finger to make it smudge. These pit brush markers, I've had them for a long time and they're as juicy now as they were when I bought them. I, I haven't used them a whole lot, but they're staying in good condition. They're not drying up or anything. And they are permanent which is why I like them. And you can use them for stamping. And I think I might have to do that to demonstrate it because they are a great product. I'm kind of intertwining it into the chandelier and I'm just tacking this down a little bit to get the cat in place on the chandelier and then I'll glue down the entire piece. I'm giving that a dry. I love cats. I, I am a, I'm very definitely a cat person. Unfortunately, I can't have a cat because my husband has allergies. And, you know, these iCADs, if you're actually doing it on an index card or you're doing it on a 5x7 art journal or an art journal page or a 4x4 magnet, you know, the stamps that you have are perfect for that because they're, you know, they're usually smaller scale. So you can use them as part of your focal image. That's why I like doing the iCAD challenge because it allows me to dig out these stamps that I have that I don't get a whole lot of use in my regular mixed media canvases. And I edged this with the blue pit brush marker as well. Now I've got my fine line bottle and I'm going to edge this with gold, just tying it all together. Black wouldn't show up very much and gold because I have gold in it. So you're kind of tying everything up together.
Thank you so much for watching. Share this with your creative friends. Give me a comment below. Let me know if you're doing the iCAD challenge. Bye for now.